President Uwuru Kenyatta has ordered civil servants eyeing elective seats in the August polls to resign. In a notice, issued by the head of public service Joseph Kainiua, the president directed those with political ambitions to vacate their offices before February 8. The law requires government officers eyeing elective seats to vacate office on or before February 9. Non-exempted state officers and all public officers are required to hand over all public assets under their charge and to prepare comprehensive handover notes to facilitate a smooth transition and handover, Kaniua said in the letter dated January 28. Together with their resignation letters, Kaniua said all officers should provide details of work plans in progress, annotate all public assets handed over as well as issue the status of priority national development programs and projects. The officers are also to give notes on the implementation of various presidential flagship programs with the ministry or state department. They are to provide a list of all policies under review or development and any other matter of significance pending. While clearing, Cabinet Secretary's Chief Administrative Secretaries, Chairperson of Constitutional Commission, Principal Secretaries and Chairperson of State Cooperations are required to hand over assets to the Executive Office of the President. CEOs of the Constitutional Commissions are to hand over to the Chairpersons of the Constitutional Commission. CEOs of state corporations and state agencies should hand over to cabinet secretaries of the parent ministries with a copy to the board of the chairperson. The rest of the public officers will hand over to their respective supervisors.